ของ f e u Served by Petrus. Oh, nice combination play. Oh, Labrador Set. able to keep it alive. Oh, and credit Santos, their setter for that last play. What a beautiful set! Look at this. Binipit niya na konte, binigay sa likod. And Antonio just responding to that set. And Lasal has come to within two. Cerveza to serve here for them. The Ocampo. Santos, it's a back set to oh. Marco Antonio. And uh, Antonio once again, back to back points. Right back at you. Uh huh. It is a one point deficit stared upon by Lasal. And FEU able to get a point there. A tight third set, and it is a very important one for both teams. We'll be back. All-important third set for both squads here. FU and LaSalle taking one set apiece so far. LaSalle taking the first set 25 to 18. And then FU coming back strong in second set. Winning it 25 to 14. Christensen from the back row. Chance for FU to execute. It's a back set. But again, the blocking of the LaSalle working on that last play. Santos oh. to Antonio. Antonio once again. If I'm not mistaken, three straight points coming from Antonio. Don't look now. We are tied. Actually, we're not tied yet. Uh, yet. <laughs> My apologies Let's for see. that. Oh, but... Labrador challenging the blockers. Finally taking that point. Look at this. Even if it's a low set, it's a B quick from FEU. Yan ang mga nahuhuli ng De La Sal kanina. Ngayon medyo nagkabutas na. And uh, uh, because of power, Labrador was able to take this one. But because of smartness, Antonio took that point using the blockers of FEU. This is an inspiring effort. By the Green Archers here, they do not want to let this third set go. But Christopher Antonio now to serve. Oh, oh. a poor first ball there. And an ace resulting that uh, not so sharp, not so high. Like a regular just uh, putting it across. But Antonio takes that ace. And now we are yes. <laughs> tied. Oh, but neutralizes it with an error. I won. Coach George Pasqua thought about sending in some sub substitutions. Just decided making to them ready, and uh, I think meron siyang uh, kung kailan niya ipapasok yan. There are his usual <laughs> substitution. Tonkin and then Garcia, the second setter. Santos pops it up to Christensen. This oh, is a free ball. free ball now. Christensen trying to pound it off that double block. Petrus goes to Labrador. And Labrador. slow for the coverage was De La Salle on that last play. The effort was there from... Casanova just couldn't get it in time. So now a two-point lead for the Tamaros. 19 to 17. Oh. Christensen had to adjust. Mm -hmm. Oh! 
miss hit there. That's right. Stepa Milo. And now the substitutions will be made. Four. Garcia. Petrus and Carl De La Calzada will go out. Garcia and Roland Tonkin check in. Aaron Calderon. As usual substitutions at this juncture. But this is a close third set. Garcia. Oh, oh, oh that what was a so block. well read by Cerveza. What My an emphatic goodness. block. Let's watch it one more time. And look at him read this one clearly. That's why even with a single block, look at that offensive block by Cerveza. It feels good when you get to block JR Labrador. He went for percentage. Parang uh, mas malamang ke Labrador ibibigay. And uh, it worked. Oh, that one went out. Really out, really wide for FEU. It's a... Uh, the Alessio now takes the lead. Substitution, FEU, 10 out, 9. Kirk Beliran, the only graduating Beliran. player on the side of FEU in the ball game. Service. Depa Milo taking a rest. <laughs> Garcia to a oh. rocking Duncan, and that is a facial. My goodness, it's the. Uh, Look at this last play. That is a thorough facial. You know, because there was only one blocker for uh, for De La Salle. Kaya ganun eh. Usually, that is the case. Pag kulang ang blockers, there's that angle or there's that line that can hit you. Tonkin! Uh, Tonkin! Penetrating the blockers of De La Salle. Now, Coach Sammy calls a timeout. Oh. So on a good reception, they will go for a running B quick. Pero pag hindi natuloy ang, uh, I think that would be Cerveza. Pero pag hindi masyadong maganda, that will fall to Christensen on an open hit. So let's see. Pero nandun pa rin si Antonio for the back row. So not so much. So Christensen gets the ball. FU able to keep it alive. Wow. Oh, and Cerveza had taken the tip, a power tip. Take a look at it once again. FU managing to keep that one alive but Cerveza right up there at the top it's a back set uh -huh, but again well read by the blockers of the LSU Cerveza once again and the green archers are hyped up Pahabulin nyo yung spiker. Hindi nyo itatapat yung bola natin sa spike o sa blockers natin, di ba? Yun ang problema natin ng first set, eh. Nakuna natin yung second set. Ba't kailangan pa natin ibalik? Kung saan tayo, lumalamang, kung saan tayo pupuntos, yun lang nandun. And then follow instruction lagi. Okay? Maliwanag, baka malalaki, hindi tayo pwede matibay ang blocking ng kalaman. Kailangan lang kumakalawa. Well, the instruction was primarily directed to the second setter, Ferdinand Garcia. Well, again, new variations kasi. Again, uh, on the side of the Tamaraos, medyo nawala dahil uh, the, uh, the, uh, Lasal able to read their place. So, uh, the blocking once again thriving for the Green Archers. And Coach George Pasqua wants Garcia to 
set it up really to almost the side of the antenna. Mm -hmm. That set, yes, that's what he wanted, and he got it. Sabi, when you really have to follow instructions, and, uh, that did FEU well. As they tie up the ball game in this third set, we are tied one set apiece. See what type of combination play. They go to the open hit. Abila, oh. oh ho! And perfect spot to put that block ball for De La Salle. Take a look at this. No one to defend that ball. For FEU, Garcia tried. It was not in the right place. Well, Coach George Pasqua just mentioned in that last huddle, he does not want the ball to be set where the blockers of La Salle are waiting. Just like what they did in the first set. Oh, and that was too much of a risk. That was too much of a risk there. Again, FEU. the blockers of La Salle were there. That's why Avila tried to avoid the blockers, but yun nga, masyadong risky. Single block. So, Okay. I love that huddle right there. Yeah. It's more of a, just your mental toughness and motivation to the players. No precise play given by uh, Coach George Pasqua, leaving it, uh, leaving it to the boys. Puso sa puso na lang ang laban dito. Puso na lang talaga, which is rude because uh, the, the LSU needing only one to be up by a set in this game. And he reminded his players na sanay sila sa gantong klaseng labanan. They are so used to pressure-packed situations. And let's see if they can show their character once again. Garcia goes to Avila. Dug up by Casanova. Oh! And Sayang! De La Vega had the right thing in yeah. mind. Sayang overcooked it a bit. Look at this flash play. Nakita niya na eh, before going up. Alam niya na no one was there so zone one, but that went wide. so, get to a different yung timeout na yon. Coach Sammy, precise in his uh, instructions. So, cross play, cross combination play. Yung left going to the right, the right going to the left. So, let's see if they're able to do that. Going for a B quick. Itong si Cerveza and Antonio going for a three. And they do get the play and get the point. And Coach Sammy Aguilar enjoying that perfectly executed play that he just drew up in his last huddle. Let's watch it one more time. This is the exact instruction given by Coach Sammy. And they take the point and take the set and is now up by a set here in this game. Credit the players of La Salle for following the instructions of their coach perfectly in that last play and they take set number three, 25 to 23. Set number four coming up. This is the UAAP Men's Volleyball Final Four.